Hi everyone, I'm Sonia Trivedi, Communications Manager at Muro, and look who I found today, Mr. Martin Dogiamas, founder and head of research at Muro. Hi Martin. Hey, how are you Sonia? How are you today in Merida, in the sunny Merida? It's very nice, Merida. I explored last night. I really enjoyed the town. Yeah, it's great to be here. Brilliant, brilliant. Today I attended a wonderful keynote, which was about the future of education and how education will look like in 2034. Can you walk us a little bit in this journey to the future? Like, what would be really the key elements we need to look for? Yeah, um, look, there are many paths that could go, and then there's paths I think it should go. But in general, with AI, the capabilities of AI are going to replace a lot of the work that people don't want to do. And that includes, well, it does include jobs, so there is a big problem of the economy to work out. But it also, in education, it replaces a lot of the boring things and it can make education more fun. So teachers will have more time to work with students and and be more connected and uh, do the, the joy of teaching. And students will have more time and, uh, to learn and to, be, uh, to fit the learning into their lives because AI will be helping them uh, and, and tailoring courses for them. Interesting, interesting. And now as head of research, could you please share a little bit more about your work and what are the key initiatives you're working on and how they will shape Moodle in the next years? Yeah, so for the past two years or three years, actually, I've been working to build a team at Moodle that can look after the Moodle organization so that I was able to step to the side and do this research role, which means I can focus fully on learning, on the science, on uh, the technology, and really try to uh, see the path forward for the next 10 years for Moodle and, and help Moodle evolve that way. Perfect. So as of now, we cannot share many details, but as we move ahead, I'm sure. Yeah, there's a lot of exciting, like, good yeah. work happening and a lot of good experiments. And soon there'll be more public prototypes of things. And it's not going to be overnight because this is complicated. It's a very big change. Uh, the idea that a machine can do everything a person can do is a new, a very new idea. and. To do that in a good way is something worth taking the time to get right. And we don't want to make mistakes too much. Um, you know, there are plenty of dystopias generally in society uh, from many science fiction films about what could go wrong with technology. Yeah. And they're all good warnings, actually, that we should uh, pay attention to. Um, but there's also many, many positive, really utopi utopic ideas that we can have. Um, and so that, for that reason, it's a very exciting time to be alive. Very yeah. exciting. I agree with you. One thing that really uh, made me interested when I was uh, seeing your presentation is that one of the educators, I think she was an educator, uh, asked you, like, uh, I mean, we're scared to, uh, from AI, like the role of the educator is shifting. So mm. what would you advise educators moving forward in terms of like, obviously, there will be some challenges, right? Mm. So if you can walk us through the challenges and your recommendation, that would yes. be great. So the initial reaction of most people when they first started experiencing chatbots was, yeah. uh, oh, students are going to use it to cheat because yeah. they have a very clear previous structure of education they're thinking about. And of course, AI can do what the student's doing. It can also do what the teacher was doing. It looks bad. And so that's very scary. But in fact, the structures we had weren't really that good. They weren't really very efficient. There was a lot of administration, a lot of work in making content and, uh, you know, not many teachers can make a virtual reality world for their students to explore. That's just not even possible. It's unbelievable, right? Yeah. But with AI, you have so much power to create experiences. So for an educator, the future with AI is actually very interesting and fun. You can create music, videos, uh, really interesting content. Uh, and you can also use it to manage the administration so you spend less time doing the boring stuff and more time doing the connecting with students. There is a great possibility. So 
educators need to embrace AI. It's not going to go away. It's only going to be more and more and more. And uh, we need to all think about the right way to apply it into our lives. And I think remembering that human connection angle is a good one. And remembering AI, uh, AI is good at boring admin is also a good one. So those two principles, uh, if you just remember, keep the fun stuff for people yeah. and the boring stuff for, for AI, that helps you start part, making a path through. Yeah, um, absolutely, absolutely. So there is no threat that AI will replace educators, right? Look, uh, many people will try and replace educators. There'll be right. companies who go, oh, I don't want to pay teachers, or I'm just, we can use AI. They're going to do that. But yeah. I think as a society, we should reject that when it doesn't make sense. I mean, maybe for small things, uh, you know, like you want to have, um, you know, very short experiences, maybe it's more efficient to have an AI do it. But for real substantial education, we should all say, no, we like to work with people. We want people in the picture here and let's make that happen. Absolutely. And my last question to you is a bit futuristic, mm. but I'm sure that you can provide some insights on that. Many people are talking about artificial general intelligence mm. or so-called AGI. Mm -hmm. Do you think we can reach AGI? When? What are your thoughts on that? It's, it's a loaded term. Uh, even most experts don't agree exactly what it means. Um, yeah. it, it's often said to be something that can do anything a human can do. It is inevitable that there will be an AI that you could say, uh, I would like, you, you don't even have to ask it, it might even decide itself. Make a company to build a factory to produce goods and run a full business. Like an AI could plan it, it could uh, create the, uh, the staff, if you like, the AI processes for the, for the organization. It could sign contracts and, and create, uh, do all the building and make construction to build a factory. It could put robots in the factory. It could have distribution. It could do all that stuff. It could actually do the whole work of an entire company and not just manufacturing, but any company. That is going to come. How long? Uh, well, estimates vary between uh, five years and 20 years. Right. Um, I'm, I think it'll be sort of possible in five years, but it won't be common maybe for 10. But as I said, it could be great. It could be great. And I hope it is. And I hope we can all work on making it great because it would be a wonderful world if we were all essentially like rich people uh, with the time to be with people, the time to have friends, the, you know, and uh, I really would love, I would love that for everybody. I would love that too. So yeah. let's leave everyone on this positive note, right? Yeah. <laughs> that uh, things would be better. So thank you, Martin. It was a pleasure having you today. Enjoy the conference. Yeah. Gracias, con mucho gusto. <laughs> thank you.